obsessed. <laughs> like my entire life is kind of oriented around how can I increase more love. And so one thing I'm focused on every single day that people can start focusing on is how do I think with love? And that sounds really esoteric, but you know, Course in Miracles says a miracle is just a shift in perception. Mm. And sometimes I have women that come to me and they're like, why was it so easy for like Janine to find her husband or, you know, and they, they will say like, Oh, why is it easier for other people and not me? And I'll mm. say, there's nothing wrong with you. But if I bet if you were to go in their head, they just think differently about love and relationships than other people. And I think people don't always realize that like your success in your love life, it really has to do with how much you are thinking in a loving way versus a fear based way. So that's what I do like every single day of my life. I'm watching my thoughts all the time. Is that a fear thought? Is that a love thought? And one way that's really easy to distinguish that I teach my clients is love thoughts feel anywhere from like neutral to good, right? Yeah. You're going to feel open or even sometimes it's just neutral, right? Even if it's like you need to leave the guy, it's a calm. It's not like uh, fear and yeah. fear thoughts are contracting. Fear thoughts make you feel crappy. So I will say you can just be watching your thoughts all the time. And if you feel crappy in your body, that's usually an indication that you've listened to a fear thought and then you would want to switch it. But a tangible exercise that people can do every day, I do this in the morning, I will sit and I will just write, um, help me to see this with love. I just say that prayer all the time. Please help me to see things with love. I was saying that in the shower this morning over and over again because I noticed my mind was thinking about the debate, the presidential mm -hmm. debate, even though I didn't watch it, mm -hmm. but I saw someone on Facebook and then my mind started to go in this direction of fear, 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 fear. Mm. Just said, please help me to see things with love. I said, Holy Spirit, enter my mind, help me to see things with love. And then you can journal about this every day. Mm -hmm. So please help me to see things with love. And then whatever your situation is, write it out as you're currently seeing it. Mm -hmm. And then notice how it feels. If it feels icky, stuck, contracted, crappy, any of that, you're probably not seeing it through the lens of love. I believe if you just ask, if you just make this prayer, love wants to enter into your mind. Mm. Um, love will enter into any mind that is truly willing, right? Which mm. is what A Course in Miracles says. So after you just get your crap out, notice how it feels, sit and ask yourself, how can I see the situation with love? Please help me to see the situation with love. And then just let, like, imagine, literally imagine love is entering in your mind. Whatever that looks like, whether it's light, whether you see, you know, like God speaking through you. And imagine you're putting on those glasses. And then try and see the situation differently. Mm. If you ask that way, you will see something differently. And if you start doing this every single day, what's going to happen is you're going to notice wait, there's different ways to look at my life, especially my love life. Mm -hmm. And if you start cultivating the second viewing, right? Ego speaks first and loudest. Then the voice of love will come. Eventually, you'll, be, you'll get really good at distinguishing, okay, this is just fear. I'm viewing it through fear. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm feeling this way. And then you'll get really good at noticing, wow, the voice of love. Usually, if you, if you, you make that shift, you see a situation with love. Let's say you are upset because your VA made a mistake. Mm -hmm. And your the fear will go, oh my God, what's wrong with her? She's gonna ruin my business, right? I, I've certainly been there. And we're thinking like that person made a mistake on purpose. Mm. You can get all that out and then you can check back in and help me see this with love. And I've done that. And when I do that with my assistant, for example, I will get, if she made a mistake, she probably already feels bad about it. She's trying to do the best she can. And I'll come into a place of compassion, and then I can have a conversation with her. But it's a lot different than that energy of like, you're messing up my business. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? So totally. Yeah. Like, do this every day. Any situation. Pick one situation every single day. Write about it. Get all the fear out. And then just ask and pray, help me to see this with love. And notice how that shifts what you're experiencing in your life. Mm. I love it because I was already thinking when you were speaking of like, you know, how, how, like, how do you shift to love? And then I could just feel in the request when you say, 
please show me instead of saying how even. And I, you, you even shifted it. Like one time you said how, then you were like, no, please show me how to view this with love. Mm-hmm. I can feel that the answer is there and it just yeah. comes, you know, and it's, it feels easy. Do you want to become a confident and masterful life coach? Imagine feeling completely supported by a brilliant sisterhood while you launch your dream business and attain financial freedom. Mentor Masterclass is an all-in life coach training program for 40 women who are on a mission to learn from the best. You can join Mentor Masterclass at the beginning of any new month while spaces are available. Head on over to mentormasterclass.com to learn more about the training and apply now.